Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Zendesk account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you change your Zendesk away status? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to change your status on Zendesk anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you work for a big company, you know, there's a lot of tickets coming and going. And if you mark yourself as away, it's going to help prevent new tickets from being assigned to you. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Zendesk support center. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Zendesk and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to update your away status, you actually need to look here on the top right. There's two of them. There's one with the telephone and then there's one with the chat box. So you can be available in one of these two or you can go ahead and mark his way on both of them. All you're going to do is click on the icon. Once you do that, you can see I'm invisible away or online. So maybe I want to go online. I just click there. Okay. Now you can see that my box is available and same thing with the phone. Let me click on the phone. Okay. For the phone, it says that I'm offline. So I can go ahead and click right here and I can go ahead and change my status on Zendesk to online transfers only or away. So let me change it to away. Okay. Now you can see the icons have changed colors depending on the status that you have updated in your Zendesk. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to change your away status in Zendesk, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.